the road test will commence only after you have passed the yard test. The necessary instructions for the road test will be given while the vehicle is stationary and the engine is switched off. The road test will take at least 20 minutes, and continue up to a maximum of 45 minutes. If for any reason beyond your control, the duration of the test is more than 45 minutes, no more penalty points will be recorded. However, all errors that normally lead to immediate failure will be recorded, violation of traffic law, uncontrolled, dangerous action, and collision, mechanical failure. The stopwatch will be stopped when you have stopped the vehicle after completing the pre-established test route. However, test scoring will continue until you have closed your door from the outside. You will be allowed a maximum average of 8 penalty points per minute of the test. So, if the test took 30 minutes, you will be allowed 240 penalty points. The stopwatch will be started after completion of the instructions for the road test. Now for the road test observations. What is an observation? To observe is to monitor or to notice something, and to realize it is important. When you are driving, it is essential to see the other traffic. You should also be able to recognize their next movement and possible actions. The Purpose of the K-53 Observations The purpose of the K-53 observations is to ensure you are aware of the traffic around you. That includes the traffic behind, in front, and next to you. You need to take note of their actions and behavior and act safely to protect yourself and others from dangerous situations. What are the observations for K-53? The Full Observation The first observation we call the Full Observation. The Full Observation is when you look at the blind spot at the one side of your vehicle, then the side mirror, the rear mirror, the other side mirror, then the blind spot on the opposite side of the car. You will notice the full observation consists of five points and is therefore also called the five point observation. Use the full observation before you pull off. The half observation. The second observation is the half observation because 1. It is only half of the full observation. 2. It is the last half of the full observation. 3. It starts in the half, or the middle, of the full observation. The half observation is when you look into the rear mirror, side mirror, and blind spot in the direction you want to indicate before turning or making a lane change. The half observation is also known as the three-point observation. Use the half observation before indicating the blind spot. The last action you take before turning or changing lanes is checking the blind spot in the direction you will turn. Other observations Check your rear view mirror when you change speed. This means when you change gears, when you accelerate, slow down, or before stopping. You should check your rear mirror every 5 to 8 seconds to keep track of the traffic behind you. Generally for the road test you can simply remember the following. When should you check your mirrors? You will check your mirrors. Before changing gears. Before stopping before checking intersections when should you do half observation you will do the half observation when examiner instructs you to turn left or right ahead or when you do lane changing when should you do the full observation the full observation will be done before moving off from a stop sign and then lastly the blind spot blind spot will be the last action before turning